Hello students, welcome to the EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma, Head of the Department, OBNHR, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Delhi. Today we will learn Module 1, Managing Careers. This module is from the paper, Contemporary Issues in HRM and Future Trends. Learning Outcome Introduction to Career Management Employees Managers and employers' role, managing promotions, transfers, and employee commitment. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the basics of career management, identify the role of employees, managers, and employers in career development. Career management is essentially a different HR function than training. Training focuses on improving the performance of an employee while actualizing the organizational goal. Career development, on the other hand, has a broader focus on employee development. Career may be defined as achievements one has attained while pursuing the business goals over a long duration of time. An employee may feel that he or she has a successful career or may not be so satisfied with the work that he or she has done and thus may feel that his or her career did not soar the height it was supposed to. Famous researchers McDaniels and Gisbers in 1992 have defined career development as the total constellation of psychological, sociological, educational, physical, economic and chance factors that combine the shape, the career of any individual over a lifespan. The career development was instituted in 1970s. Hall and Marvis in 1996 advanced the idea of protean career. The word protean is named after Greek god Proteus who could change his shape at his own will and therefore this term that is protean career implies that individuals must derive and reinvent their own careers in the organization. A career path may be understood as a flexible line of movement through which an employee may progress during his or her tenure in an organization. Now let us understand what are the different types of career paths. First type is the linear career path. It is a series of progressive steps in an upward hierarchy. This is suitable for people who crave for power and achievement. Second type is the expert career path. Now, as the name suggests, this path only focuses on gaining in-depth expertise in an occupational domain. The third type is dual career path. A dual career path would allow an upward mobility for employees without requiring that they be placed into supervisory or managerial position. Any employee who has sound technical skill or expertise in a certain field but is not interested in undertaking or managing the managerial role can gain benefit from this type of career path. Next type is horizontal career path. In this, an organization or any organization that has several distinct functions wherein the employees can have an option of broadening their skills and contributing in new ways. The most contemporary is a free agent. As the name suggests, such employees are free-willed by disposition and they do not report to anyone per se. They are dynamic by nature and they have an ability to choose and control their own career path. We all are aware of the fact that there is so much of uncertainty in the workplace. Now, this growing uncertainty in the workplace has implied that job security and loyalty towards work and organization has to be replaced with the projection of skills. Usually in an organization, the career path may be a linear growth, but the dynamism of business, one's career may become cross-functional and non-linear. Therefore, Human Resource Department has to find means and measures to retain valuable people, design and implement a career system and also manage vacancies which are caused due to resignations, layoffs or retirements. Let us now understand the employees, managers and employers role. 
The external career can be the rules set by the policies of an organization, whereas the internal career can be one's own growth in the organization. It can be agreed that employee, managers and employers have an important role to play in the career development. They all play a crucial role in planning, guiding and developing the employee's career. Employee's role in career planning. Let's now understand what exactly is the role of an employee in their own career planning. Career planning for an employee implies matching the individual's strength, weaknesses with organization's unique requirement. The right career planning would help in utilizing the skills, knowledge and abilities that the employee possesses with the occupational opportunities the organization provides. The employee must establish their own career goals and grab development opportunities that are offered by the organization. What exactly is the manager's role in career planning is what we are going to discuss now. Managers have a vital role to play in the career management of employees. The managers ideally should be a mentor or a counsellor to their employees. They should help their employees in clarifying the goals and objectives so that they can receive the feedback on a timely basis. A good career advice should be offered by the manager to hone the competencies of the employees. Employees role in career planning all the human resource activities can support career development efforts. Recruitment and selection process is the most prevalent practice for career management and development. On the basis of requirement, a person job fit is established in the recruitment and selection process. The employer must invest on the growth and development of the employees. Other HR practices like training and development career-oriented programs should form an essential part of career development. The responsibility of the employer is also to provide realistic job offers. It helps candidates gauge whether the job in hand is suitable for them or not. Once the employees have worked on a certain job for a certain period of time, the employer can take steps to improve the career growth of that employee. This process can be smoothened if the manager plays a distinct role in apprising the employees about his or her performance and the performance gap. Managing promotions, transfers and employees commitment. Promotion refers to advancement to positions of increased responsibility while transfers are reassignments to similar positions in the other parts of the firm. Let us now understand what exactly are the promotion decisions. For an employee, promotions guarantee pay increase and also to an extent job satisfaction. While for an employer, promotions are either rewards given to employees for their exemplary performance or filling of vacant positions. Promotion decisions have to be taken judiciously and cautiously as it might lower the morale of the employee or reduce the organization's productivity. There are certain decisions that are to be made whether to give a seniority based promotion or a competency-based promotion. We all know that the business environment is competitive and dynamic. Thus, promoting people on the basis of their competency brings about motivation and better commitment. However, competency should be measurable to form the basis of promotion. Thus, defining the jobs, setting standards and using one or more appraisal tools 
to record performance becomes imperative. Is promotion or transfer a formal or informal process? Well, it is very very important to identify the criteria for promoting the employees in the organizations. There are many organizations that follow the informal criteria. It may not be necessarily based on performance, but needless to say, it brings about dissatisfaction in the organization. On the other hand, a job posting, employee qualification database and replacement charts can be useful in establishing the formal criteria for promotion related policy. Should we have a vertical or a horizontal promotion is the next question that needs to be worked upon. Sometimes employees are transferred or promoted across departments. In a certain department, they may grow vertically from one level to another which may be treated as job enrichment. However, if an employee moves from one department to another, it becomes important to understand that his area of expertise and interest should not get dampened. And certainly, monetary gains are not to be treated as one that would bring about satisfaction. We all know that pay is not a motivator. Let's understand how we can manage transfers. A transfer refers to movement from one job profile to another, usually with no salary hike. There are several reasons why employees are transferred. First is to fill the vacancies in the same branch, division or different branch or division. Sometimes employees want to be shifted close to their hometowns for interesting profiles or for enhancement in their skills or knowledge. Some employees or organizations prefer to routinely transfer their employees from one location to another either to fill the vacancy or help the employees to gain skills and competence. However, such practices are bringing in high expenditure for the organization and there is a very high level of stress and disturbance in the employee's personal life. Let us now understand how managing careers helps in increasing the employee's commitment. Employee can only be loyal to the organization when the organization is taking care of their needs. Ideally, a career conducive workplace is one where employees get challenging and interesting work to do. There is no stress and conflict at a workplace. The workplace is safe. The supervisor is supportive and behaves like a mentor. The goals are clearly established and employees have knowledge of results. The employees get good pay and benefits. Since today it is the do your best for us and be loyal to us, we will give you a fast track career along with a high status and living standards era. Therefore, the employees must find out measures to retain the employees and reduce the turnovers. We must understand one thing very clearly that a well-designed career program is an effective tool in attracting and retaining employees, which most of the organizations do not focus upon. Career Development Tools In Career Development Tools, we have to understand that this helps in assessing an employee. This assessment can be done either by the employee or the employer. Their life rules, skills, knowledge and work attitude should be reviewed. The kind of assessment which focuses on their rules, skills, 
knowledge and work attitude is going to help the employees to take an informed career decision. Now let us understand how we can have a career planning workshop which would increase the employees loyalty towards the organization. Experiential based exercises can be conducted in a formal manner and help the employees to be prepared for their career. A review and a feedback is always the well thing and a good thing to do in such cases. There are several books that are available which can act as a comprehensive guide about what kind of career one must manage and ensure to have. How do career oriented appraisals is what we would learn now. Appraisals we all know they provide a platform to review career related issues. Annual or semi annual appraisal helps in identifying the gaps in the performance and also highlight the developmental needs of an employee into a concrete career plan. Career counselling is a concept that we all should be aware of. Career counselling is a counselling or mentoring coaching on an issue that is related to an individual's career. With more and more diverse career options and professional opportunities emerging, career counselling helps an individual to make the right choice about their career paths, career development and career change. Either an external career counsellor or an internal career counsellor can help the individuals with the task of self-assessment and self-analysis the aptitude, skills and interest of the individuals are then matched with various job types. They also help to identify the various job options that are available and provide clarity on different job roles within or outside the organization. Now let us understand the concept of assessment and development centers. An assessment center is used as a process to discover talent, select new employees or identify promotion ready candidates amongst the existing pool of employees. An assessment center is basically a series of assessments that are carried out using several techniques like simulation, psychometric tests and exercises to take critical decisions like selecting or rejecting a candidate for recruitment, promotion, appraisal etc. A development center focuses on transforming talent, identifying potential and establishing individual objectives related to the development needs of an individual. The development center has to be predefined and some set of competencies and behaviors as reference points are to be marked which would be assessed during assessments but unlike assessment centers, feedback is an important component of the development centers. The feedback is used to provide the insights and ensure that the career plan of an employee is in the right place in the right direction. Let us understand the illustration given in the slide. The illustration shows some kind of tests and exercises that can be conducted by an employer or by the team that is conducting managing career exercises. There are certain psychometric tests like ability test, personality test and customized tests. Individual exercises like situational analysis, in tray or in basket exercises or competency based interviews that can be taken to assess an individual's competency. Team based exercise for example caselets, role plays and case studies and group exercises like 
simulation, group discussion, project or report presentation and panel discussion. Thus, in this module we have learned that the term protein career implies that individuals must derive, reinvent their own careers in the organization. There are different types of career paths that we learned today. The linear career path, the expert career path, dual career path, horizontal career path and free agent. Usually in an organization, the career path may be a linear growth, but with the dynamism of business, one's career may become cross-functional and thus non-linear. Human resource department has to find means and measures to retain valuable people, design and implement career systems and also manage vacancies that are caused due to resignations, layoffs or retirements. In making a promotion decision, the employer has to decide whether it has to be seniority based or competency based, formal or informal, vertical or horizontal. A transfer may refer to a movement from one job profile to another, usually with no salary hike. Employees can be committed and loyal towards their organization if organization offers faster career growth. Organizations are required to take measures like career development tools, career planning workshops, career oriented appraisals, counseling, assessment and development centers so as to help the employees streamline their career goals and increase their commitment towards the organization. Thank you.